Hi and welcome students. Today's tutorial is going to cover Microsoft Excel 2016 and how to use the sum function. The sum function adds up all of the cells within a given range. Let's go ahead and get started. So what we see here is four different areas, okay? And this is a revenue chart. How much money were we making? So a lot of times we're going to want to add up this information. So in the first example, I'm going to show you how to add up this information within the year 2018, okay? Now, it's always important to put a formula on your spreadsheet rather than just typing in the number. So I could look at this and I know that it adds up to 9,700, right? And I know this right here adds up to 11,650. And this right here adds up to 13,160. Am I good at math? Not really. Point is, right down here, it actually shows you what your total is. So that's a little shortcut there so you can see what your sum is. All right, but anyway, we're going to show you how to basically do your sum function. So how to add this up. So rather than putting 9,700 here, it's important to put the function. The reason is because if any of these numbers change, if I have a function down here in this cell, it's actually going to update that function and update that uh, number as the numbers change. So here we go. All right, so to start off the sum function, you start with the equal sign. All right, after you type in your equal sign, you're going to start typing SUM for sum. All right, so as soon as you type in SUM, you're gonna see a list of formulas right down here. Now this list of formulas are, will basically appear based off of what you typed in right up here. So we see that SUM, we see sum is right there, it's in blue. I'm going to double click it to activate the function, so one, two and now we see it's activated. It activates in capital letters and it opens up the parentheses and then we have a blinking cursor right after that. Now, since I see this blinking cursor here, I can go ahead and click and drag the range that I want to be added up. So I could click and drag from here down through here, okay? Now, a lot of people think that in this function you need to close the parentheses just like that, uh, but you really don't. You could just hit tab or enter and it will uh, finalize that function. So that's one way to do it. Now let's learn another way. I'm going to start again with the equal sign and I'm going to type in SUM. All right, now the only thing I'm going to do different this time is I'm not going to use my mouse to double click on sum. Rather, I'm going to press tab on my keyboard. When I press tab on my keyboard, it's going to capitalize all of that uh, information and or the name of the function and it will make that function ready to go. So now I can uh, click and drag right through there and press enter this time. Notice that they do the same thing, only enter takes me down the row rather than across, or uh, down the columns rather than across the rows. All right, now we're gonna learn a new way to do it. I'm gonna press equal sign on my keyboard, type in SUM, and now I'm going to press tab. And now instead of using my mouse to click on the area that I want, I'm just going to press the up arrow. The up arrow will send me to the cell above it, and then I could hold down shift and press the up arrow three more times to select that range that I want. So this way is doing it with only the keyboard itself. And now I press tab or enter and it'll finalize that data. So that looks good. Now let's work in this cell over here, cell E3. All right, so this time I'm gonna press the equal sign and I'm gonna type in SUM for sum. I press tab, okay? Now this time I'm going to press the left arrow and notice it works the same way. I hold down shift, I press over twice. So that looks good, all right? Next, I'm gonna show you a new way to, to use sum. I'm gonna to go to the home tab, the editing group, and I'm gonna click right here on this button that says auto sum. If I click that, it recognizes the range right next to it is the area that I wanna add in, and it auto calculates the formula. To finalize it, I press enter so that I move down right there, okay? So that's how you use the auto sum. Now I'm gonna show you how to copy the formula down. So if I click right here, notice that I have this cell active. I could actually go to the bottom right of that cell right there where I see this black plus sign. And then if I click and drag down, it will copy that formula down to the next cell over. And if I click that, I can see in my formula bar, it's adding the sum of B5, which is right over here, through D5, okay? Now I'm gonna show you one more way to use the uh, uh, sum function. So if I press the equal sign and type in sum and press tab to activate it, I could actually type in B6 and then type a colon through D6, right? And then I press enter. 
okay and that'll actually give me the uh, total right there as well okay so you can manually type these things in now right here with this uh, I'm gonna try using the auto sum on this cell I click it and it notices I want to add this up notice that that's the exact same as adding uh, these up right over here and I press enter okay and you'll see right there you could double check 34,510. So that's how you use the sum. That's a bunch of different ways to do it, but now I'm going to show you the best trick of all. I'm going to delete everything that I just did. Now if I go like this and I click at the beginning of my data and I go all the way over here to the total and then I drag down all the way down through these totals, if I go up here and I click auto sum, watch what happens it auto calculates everything. So if you set up your spreadsheets in this format, it'll actually auto sum everything that you need to do uh, and calculate all of your totals in just one single move with that auto sum button. So I hope this uh, video has helped you out. I hope it taught you a few shortcuts about how to use the sum function. And most of these tips and tricks could be applied to many other functions while you uh, work in Microsoft Excel. So if you like this video, if it helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any video requests, put it in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.